Hi, I'm Chris Chernohoy. I work at the University of Wisconsin River Falls, and with me is a guest who's going to talk about compositions, education, and life in music. Please welcome Dr. Jack Stamp. It's good to be here. It's always good to be with you. Thank you. We've been uh, doing a number of things for all these years since 2001. Tell me what your inspiration is for 25 years at Indiana University of Pennsylvania and then now in your, if you will, retirement, still working, reaching out, teaching. My philosophy of teaching is simple. I want to make students better than I was when I was their age so they can be better than me when they're my age and then keep the, this idea of music and the love of music and the teaching of music going at a high level. It's really important and that shows in your compositions as well and we had the honor of um, premiering one of your works here not too long ago, Fanfare Chernohoy. Right. <laughs> Well, what our audience doesn't know is what a terrific listener you are. I was thinking about that the other day when you're always interested in what's going on. And, you're, and whenever I talk to you, you want to know what's going on in my life. And so I'm always talking to you about pieces I'm writing. And you're always interested in them. And, the, and many times you've played them after they've been premiered. And I thought, this is kind of selfish. I need to write a piece for you. So the idea was just to write you a little flourish fanfare in my style that would um, both show off the band and show you how much I appreciate our friendship. That's very kind. The students of the first day that we played the piece, they were like, what are these rhythms? What are these meters? <laughs> what is he doing to us? And, they, and of course they grew, once, once we had the first reading, then they grew to love them and they made perfect sense because I actually felt some rhythm with my name. <laughs> well, you know, Gary Bird, one of our colleagues, said that he heard Chernohoy. Everybody pull, pulls something out of the piece, and um, if, if you hear that, then it invests you as a conductor. I always talk to students about how we talk. I mean, just in our conversations, how we accelerate or how we slow down or how we put pauses in. And No one talks in 4-4. No one talks like this, and they keep it like this. They talk in 5878. Eight. They talk in those meters. So I make my music and why those meters show up, I make try to make it conversational. I, that's how I think. I think in these these strange meters because I don't think in 4-4. Four, four. This, the soul gets to speak through the notes, doesn't it? It sure does. Well, thank you so much. It's really been fun to have you here, and um, I just look forward to future collaborations. My pleasure.